Does not appear to be loaded. It's a 36 uh, caliber, too. Yeah, it's a Navy. Yeah. The Spencer's cool. That's how it would have been loaded through the buttstock. Yeah, the loading tube would have never survived because it was its metal was so thin you could just about borrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Well, I, I thought they were coming today, and then John said on something, you know. Curiosity kills a cat. Yeah. Satisfaction brought it back. Uh, uh, with? I was in the I was in the arm. Rules of engagement by definition. And that looks like it's about 4.62 inches. 4.62 inches. Yeah. And how large is each of those balls? So this is cannon canister. It's like a. It's like a shot shell for the cannon. Yeah. And that's probably got about. Been, uh, the rifled ones have, and you'll see some down on the lower floor. The rifle canister had little bitty balls in it. Once they went with rifle, but this was the smooth bore. So, we learned so there's about 30 of those balls. At 27. 27. Yeah. It feels like it weighs about three or four ounces. Yeah. Iron. There was one end of you. Yeah. <laughs> so you fire a volley of those at a uh, line coming your way, I suppose. Yeah, and you you hear about the double canister. That's when they're putting two. That's when they're putting two canisters together. <laughs> two of these together. Right. So that's why you had a lot of amputees. They'd go through you. A lot of fun. So I enjoy it. the last Notice the Union soldier with a Henry repeating rifle in the center. The devil at Fallen Timbers was Nathan Bedford Forrest, and as dramatic as this looks, he lived through this. The Mortal Encounter on Beverly's Ford Road, 1863. <laughs> Check out the one inch bore on this guy. Carbine. It's like about a, I don't know, 19, 20 inch barrel. That's what you call a canoe gun. English sporting gun, 90 caliber, 100 at the muzzle. 1760s. Confederate money.
That's a headhunter's hat. Yeah, I figured it had to be. Yeah, here's his mask down here. It's got a monkey head and on not, it. Not many people. Yeah, the, the disc, the disc wow. part of it. It's a monkey head. Another headhunter's mask made from a human pelvis. It's an authentic star 44 caliber revolver. That's, that's a beautiful collection. You've got a dog 1875 guy. Remington. Don't take a picture of me. I'll break, I'll break cameras. I'm not photogenic either. It's another star revolver. That's a J. Stevens 22 caliber. Just to give you an idea of scale, that's the shoulder stock. It attaches to that screw. I would wear <laughs> this big heavy thing is a chunk of gun. And from the looks of the length and heft of this wrought iron barrel, I'll bet you this thing weighs about 30 pounds, if not more. I can talk to you then. Good. All right. You take care. Feel good. Is there a question? Sure. When did we go from... It's a Japanese match lock. That, this type of gun to Well, that's actually pretty close. That's a model 1855. That's not a model.